All right. Welcome everybody to Eli's. Uh, we have Sarah Zupanzik, did I pronounce it yes, correctly? Right. Yes, uh, who works in marketing for Eli's. My first question would be, how much training does the staff get so that they oh. do this all the time? <laughs> they get an awful lot of training, actually. Um, we start a few months in advance. The managers, of course, have food sanitation training. And then we have to train everyone who's working in the booth on food sanitation and also the procedure, how to, how to get through all of these people, especially on a day like July 3rd, where you know, you're 20 people deep, how to get them out fast, how to keep everything safe. Um, stuff like that. So a few months of training, everyone has to attend a few training sessions and then they can work in our booth. So as far as coming to the Taste of Chicago, you know, obviously it's a food event, so it makes sense it's relevant, but 29 years in a row, is this the only event yes. that you come to or is, are there other things that you do? Oh no, um, yeah, like you said, we were at the first Taste of Chicago in 1980. That's where Eli debuted the cheesecake to the public and um, we've been coming ever since, but we really try to be involved in, in any event that's happening in Chicago. We're really proud of the fact that we're a Chicago company, so we try to really be involved in anything going on in the city. So, so you know, beyond the training, what are some other difficulties that go about, you know, putting an event like this on? Um, well, we, I believe last year we served 130,000 slices, something like that, and we all, we make everything in one bakery, which is on the northwest side of Chicago, so we, um, we start a few months in advance baking cheesecakes for Taste of Chicago and freezing them ahead of time. Uh, we have all the freezer space for it. Plus, we have to make our regular daily production for our regular wholesale business. We ship to all the United States and, and about 10 foreign countries. So in addition to the Taste of Chicago, we have our regular wholesale customers we have to take care of as well. So in months in advance, we're baking cheesecake and, and freezing them. They can stay frozen for six months. We have freezers on site, and there's a refrigerated or frozen truck just a little bit kind of a few feet that way, where we have to replenish the cheesecakes and keep them cold. And they have thermometers where they're checking the temperature constantly, so it's it's kind of a, there's a lot of work involved with perishable product. So what other activation elements are part of the, uh, the booth? I saw you have a contest with photos. We do, yes. We try to get everyone excited ahead of time during taste. We have a mailing list, about 40,000 people that we send emails to well in advance of Taste of Chicago get everyone excited. We have a promotion if you take a picture of yourself eating cheesecake and post it to our website, you'll be entered to win a free cheesecake, things like that. In addition to our booth, on Saturday we had a giant 2,000 pound cheesecake. It's the official birthday cake of the Taste of Chicago and of Eli's, and that is a big um, promotional opportunity for us. When it's an event, um, it's, it's a lot easier, of course, to promote it then rather than just selling slices out of the booth. So it's fun. We have a celebrity cake cutter every year. Um, we had Kenny Rogers last year, and this year it was um, Daniel Burnham V. His great-grandfather was Daniel Burnham, who, who planned a lot of the architecture in Chicago. So events like that really help us promote the booth. And my last question is, how do you measure the success of this particular event? So basically, of course we measure sales against last year and in previous years, but also we look at the weather each day and see what happened. Um, what we put on the menu, um, we don't like to change the menu too often because when we do, we notice a dip in sales if we don't have everyone's favorites. So we change a few items, but we always have plain, we always have strawberry, we always have a dipper, which is the cheesecake on a stick. And so we definitely look at sales, but basically, we're really proud when we're number one also. That's really important to us. All right, well, so thank you so much for your time. Thank and you so much. You actually gave us a free piece of uh, Eli's yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. We really <laughs> enjoyed it, so thank you. thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.